any comments on criticisms from uh, veteran journalists about the enforcement actions against Porter Malaysian Art from MCMC? From MCMC, okay. I just I just returned from uh, from an overseas trip, so I've not received any briefing from MCMC. Uh, I believe MCMC um, follows the law, yeah. so whatever they do is, is within the boundaries of the law. Uh, they don't refer everything to me before they take any action. In fact, sometimes uh, it's collaboration with, uh, on conjunction with investigations by uh, whether it's the police or public complaints that they receive. So I will have to get some uh, briefing from them first before I can uh, fully comment. But uh, I respect the views of uh, the journalists, whether they are veteran journalists or junior journalists. To me, there's all journalists are important. Uh, freedom of the press is something which is uh, very important for the government. Um, at the same time, um, being factually correct also is very important. Uh, there were some public complaints that were uh, extended to me, uh, but not only to myself, um, with regards to some reporting that was done. Uh, that's why for the Deputy Minister and myself, we believe that uh, perhaps a uh, Malaysian Media Council would be a, a very good avenue to uh, mitigate, to discuss and to resolve a number of these issues. So we hope that uh, by next year, uh, we can bring the law to, or we can bring the bill to Parliament uh, and uh, pass the law, uh, so that uh, for media organisations there can be uh, better facilitation, uh, or, or rather, kawal uh, selia dalaman, yeah, uh, among uh, the journalists themselves. This is important because we have seen at, at various times, sometimes uh, I remember uh, during the state elections, there was a, a news report that was done by uh, quite a senior or, or quite an uh, established news organisation saying that a certain opposition politician has been arrested, which turned out to be false. So in those kind of cases, uh, surely enforcement agencies have a right to engage with uh, media organisations and it turned out that uh, uh, that media organisation was wrong. Yeah. Tapi waktu itu tak ada pula siapa-siapa yang kata oh you know media organisations. So we have to be fair. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes in our pursuit of the news, it is not only important to be first but to be factually correct. Uh, so I think uh, this this applies uh, for all. I uh, encourage MCMC to have further engagements with all um, organizations and mind you it's not they, they do MCMC doesn't doesn't really look after this particular area but um, many other sectors as well yeah? so uh, I appreciate and value the fit feedback that has been given by uh, members of the media and uh, I will um, as I mentioned uh, have an engagement, have a briefing by MCMC to understand what what transpired and, and how is it that we can ensure that things can be better. Uh, not only in terms of how uh, agencies like MCMC can uh, work with the press, but also how the press, uh, including with the foresight and wisdom of the veterans, better move towards, move towards better self-regulation. So I hope uh, we all play our part to remind each other that while we have freedom of the press, we have freedom of speech, we have, we have freedom of expression, it does not mean we have uh, a free pass to slander, to defame, or to uh, uh, write uh, wrong or factually incorrect reports.